Hi friends, I have another craft for you today. Today we are going to make this decorative plate. So it's an accent that you'd put on um, a table or on your mantle and um, I call it a rope plate and I guess that's what you'd call it. So we're making our own instead of buying one. I think it's so pretty. It's kind of a farmhouse farmhouse feel, uh, which is one of the things I like. So it's simple. All you need is one of these plastic uh, plates that you get at Dollar Tree. It's a little uh, serving tray. And today I'm going to do a smaller one. So this is the serving tray. This is like the decorative uh, cake tray, decorative cake tray, because I want to pair them. I want to pair the two together. Um, so I wanted one small and one big, and it'll help with the video. And um, what I used for the rope was I used a Dollar Tree mop head and just took the plastic off the top. Uh, you'll need like a sharp wire cutters or something to do that. Or you can just buy a string of rope. So that works too. And then um, I used black spray paint for the center because I'm going for the black and white. So that's what I'm using today. And we just need a hot glue gun. So I'm just gonna take this off. And uh, you can make your center dot whatever color and whatever size you want. Um, but I, about a fourth is what I did, about a fourth of that size of the plate. So this one happens to have sections divided. So I use this small one. So all you do is start gluing on these strips. So once you take the plastic off, you got this size strips. And you just start in the center and weave your way around. So be careful as always with the hot glue. You don't want to burn yourself. And it just wraps around. Super easy. Now on some of the other things we've done, like the wine bottles and stuff, I didn't use glue all the way around, right? If you remember, uh, I would just use it in spots. Here, I'm pretty much using it all the way around because I don't want um, it to fall. My plate is going to be displayed vertically, so I don't want any of my rope to like sag off or anything. So pretty much I'm using it all the way around. So I'm doing it in little sections because if you've used glue, a glue stick, a glue gun, um, with any amount of time, you know that it dries fast, which is one of the best things about a glue gun. Now, if you have other glue, there's nothing saying you can't use other glue, um, like tacky glue or even regular, regular school glue. Whatever dries clear, just in case you can see through. You also do not need to go out and buy a plate. If you have a mismatched plate at home, that um, you want to use. It doesn't even matter what color it is. Um, if you notice in my first one, everything's covered up. You can't see through it. So you don't, I told you it was a clear plastic plate, but you don't necessarily know that. So what I just did there was I ran out of one strand, so I needed to put it together. I needed to add my second one. So all you got to do is butt it right up against the first one. And just be careful with your seams. But yeah, you can use whatever plate you want. It, you know, use whatever you have at the house. That's fine too. You don't have to go out and buy this. This is just what I'm using. So. Uh, it works out great. One thing though, if you decide to use different glue, remember you need extra drying time. 
because this project will be pretty much finished when I get around because it will already set up. So I'm almost finished. I'm using two strips, looks like, of my mop head to get my centerpiece done. Almost finished this part. And see how simple that is? I'm gonna have all kinds of leftover mop head for different crafts. All right, there's my center part. Easy peasy, it's almost 100% dry. Now we need to spray paint it. But with the magic of television, da da da, I already have one spray painted. So here you can see it better from the back, I guess. Because there's over spray, see how I sprayed the center. This is what it looks like from the back. So I did a circle already, same size as that one right there. And I spray painted it black, this side. But it, there's, uh, it spills over, right? It spilled over. No worry, we're covering that up, so it doesn't matter. So now I'm just gonna continue. I'm gonna add some glue at where my original strand ended. And I'm going to start another one. So you just make sure you have a nice, clean connection, just like that. And start going around. Now you might want to consider um, how deep your plate goes. This cake plate has a ridge on the edge the serving tray that I used for the original one is, it does have a ridge, but not decorative. This one's got a, a decorative edge. So it'll, I'll be curious to see, because I haven't done one this size, how we end up here at the top edge of our tray here. So I have just lapped myself. I've gone all the way around once. See how that's turning out? So I'm just covering up all of that black that I sprayed. So if you are going to use spray paint, what I did originally for the first one is I set it down <laughs> and spray painted, but I didn't with this one. I held it and I spray painted it. This morning before I recorded this and I got black all over my hands. So if you have some gloves or just set it down. I, I was in a hurry, so I wanted to um, make sure it dried before we got together here and my doggie's talking to you. So anyway, I thought, well, I'll just hold it. I'm just spraying the center. Whoo, that overspray scrub so you don't have to see my painted hands. Craziness. This is so relaxing. It's easy to do. Kind of foolproof. Any kind of, uh, you know how you get yarn? You could do this with yarn if you wanted to. Might take a whole lot longer. But, uh, you know how yarn comes with some blemishes in it sometimes? It's got like a different uh, yarn color somehow in there, or you know, there's a blemish. So nothing, nothing's perfect, right? So if these pieces of mop head have a little blemish in it or whatever, I think it just adds to the character. It makes something more homemade, right? Instead of something perfect, it, it gives it its own character. I love it. So maybe you do too. 
So we are just trucking right along. Any of the glue that happens to squeeze out or anything, remember it dries clear. Whatever glue you're using needs to dry clear. But this kind of glue dries clear. And if you happen to have a plate that you've held on to for some reason that uh, has its own blemish or a crack in it, but you didn't want to throw it away. This is a perfect thing to use to repurpose it. So when I did this first one, I did it at the uh, senior center and I put it outside so the center wouldn't smell like paint. And we got a storm, a windstorm, and I wasn't worried about it because it was up underneath our canopy so it's not like it was going to get wet if it decided to rain with that storm. But it picked it up Flew it across the um, parking lot, and when I finally found it, it had this big old crack in it, and I'm like, you are kidding me. But guess what? It still works perfect because it doesn't matter that it has a crack in it. I covered that up with, the, with this mop head rope, and it's perfect. So see, you wouldn't even know it if I didn't tell you. I don't know how long we've been doing this, but it doesn't take that long, does it? I'm trying to get it at least to a good size so you can see it better. I don't want to kill your time. Of course, you can fast forward. You don't have to watch this in real time. I'm just now thinking of that. So I'm not killing your time. You can just fast forward the video. Might run out of glue, that'd be something. All right, so I'm at another piece I need to add. Remember, you just gotta put some glue down, make sure it matches, meets end to end, and just keep going. Now that I'm looking at these two together, side by side, my first one, the big size, and then this one, this big one has a bigger scoop than this smaller plate. And you don't have to worry about it going up and you think your your rope's going to fall off. It doesn't. It um, just lays on top of the row that was ahead of it. So it's all good. And I think what I'm going to do, because seriously, I might run out of glue while we're doing this. Um, if I don't get to finish it, and I'll just, you know, basically we're just trying to teach you the process anyway. But, um, it'll lay on top of itself and work out just fine on the edge. And these decorative edges, um, I don't want any of the plate to show. But that's my personal preference. So I'm gonna go all the way up and cover these. I like the scallops on this plate, but I don't want it to show. It's, it's not going to suit my craft, I don't think. So I'm gonna go all the way up and cover all of it. Just like I did with this first one. Just if I run out of glue and I can't finish this video. They also make, which I think I've mentioned before, these little um, silicone finger covers. While you're working with glue, hot glue, sometimes it gets too hot, you could burn yourself. I have many times. So. You can get like three, I think, three, four for a dollar, the Dollar Tree. Not that I'm sponsored by those guys or any such thing. It's just where I'm just trying to help you find where to get this stuff. I've also seen it at all the craft stores. 
So wherever you happen to be, if you want some, you can pick some up for cheap. Another one. You do have another option if you do not want to cut the, if you want to use a mop head and you don't want to cut it, cut that plastic off. The other option is to cut it up by the base, but you would be working with half this length. So just let you know. That's what I used in my gnomes. If you saw that video for her hair, I used this. And I use half the length for her hair, so boy, you can use this stuff for all kinds of stuff instead of just cleaning your floors. All right, I'm adding my last glue stick. So we'll see if this will finish this project out. Thought I planned ahead, but it's taking more glue than I thought it would. Oops, hot. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I'm enjoying doing them for you. Try to help you find something to do. Or if you just like crafts and you want some different ideas. The internet's full of ideas. If you got the internet. And this is a simple craft. But don't let the complexity of a craft make you shy away from it if you want to do it or you like the end result. And then I had a friend of mine say, because you can you tailor it the way you want to do, as we always say. Whatever you happen to have. Whatever you want to use, just think out of the box. Think of what you already have. But a friend of mine was saying, why are you spending all that time doing these crafts? You could just go and buy it. But the point of it is the process. Not necessarily. Some of it could be that you're making something for cheaper than what you could buy it for, but it takes your time, right? And you have to go get some supplies if you don't already have it at home. So the joy of it for me is just the process. All right, now let me show you. We are at this end. We're at the lip where the plate curves up. Isn't that looking good though? That's looking great. And look when I pair the two together, the size. It's gonna look so cute. That's why I went with the smaller one. So I can put them together. So since we're starting the side, I'm glad we're doing that before if my glue runs out. So I can show you how it just sits right on top. So now we're already stacking on top of each other. See? We're already stacking on top of each other. Oops, break. So, some things about the glue. If you have um, an extra blob, like you put too much or it dripped while you were crossing over or anything, once it dries, you can take scissors and just snip it off. Just lay it flat against your project and it'll just snip off. The strings, as usual, with the are created generally when you're using a glue gun. Wait till it dries and just pull it off. The 
here's a hint too. Say you were doing the center piece and the center part of this before you spray painted and you got a glob of glue. Let it dry and cut it off because you don't want to spray the glue, spray paint the glue because it'll be obvious. Okay, I'm right. I'm not gonna have enough glue to finish this project. Sorry, but you can already see what it's gonna look like with the first one. So, ta-da, I'm almost finished. Sorry about that. So, that's what it'll look like. It'll turn out just like this. So pretty. If you use the plastic, it's lightweight. Uh, so even if it does drop, it might crack, but it won't like shatter and go all over the place. Uh, I am going to pair them like this together. Oops. But I am going to finish this off all the way, just like this. Just go all the way up to the top. Make sure you get the last piece uh, secured. And then see, I have it at the bottom. That was by accident. But if I'm going to display it, that's exactly what I do is I would put the, where the very last end piece is, I'd put at the base of where I'm displaying, and that's it. So easy, so pretty, and I'm glad you joined me today. We'll see you next time. Bye.